Exit Certified is the training arm of Tech Data and is uh, partnered with many vendors for authorized training, including AWS. We've been an AWS authorized training partner for about seven years, and we deliver their training to uh, all kinds of organizations. We have one of the largest public schedules, including lots of guaranteed to run dates. We also do private training. But if you're an APN partner, meaning you've, you've become part of the AWS partner network, you can take advantage of severely uh, subsidized training up to 75% off the public rate that we charge. And that's important because, you know, to get into the APN program and to move up the levels, you're going to want to get so many people certified. Some of the certifications, like the, the foundational cloud practitioner, you know, you could just take a one day class, do a little bit of study and you could pass it. But some of the more technical ones, you know, you're going to want to take a three day class and then do some self study and really get ready for it. What's nice about the uh, the APN uh, partner pricing that we have is, like I said, it's it's almost it's 75% off the regular price, plus it includes an exam voucher. Now, um, I, I included in this APN journey to certification document that I built and updated for 2021, some of the APN requirements, depending which tier you're in, you need so many people with the foundational level and so many people with, um, you know, associate or professional level certifications, depending on the competencies you're looking for, you know, there are very specific things like if you want to do the data and analytics competency, then you need at least four people with the data analytics specialty certification. So you'll have to figure out, you know, which certifications you need. Um, if we want to take a quick look at some of the paths here, um, the, the one class that doesn't get subsidized is the one day cloud practitioner essentials. Uh, but that's a, a one day class, non technical people can take it, there's some lab component to it, but you don't have to have uh, much experience. And then that'll get you ready for that uh, foundational level cert. Uh, all the other paths start with one of our three classes, either the sysops for operations people, administration people, or the architecting or the developing class. And so those are all sort of three day classes that will get you, you know, most of the way ready for the associate level certification. Okay. Now, um, the uh, operation side might mean you're a Linux or a Windows administrator or a networking person, you know, that, that's sort of the operation side. The architect track is the most popular um, and uh, a nice follow on. It doesn't map to any certification, but, uh, but it does get included in this partner program is this brand new class called developing serverless solutions on AWS. Very exciting. Um, on uh, you know topics like Lambda and API Gateway and Step Functions that we use to build these serverless uh, applications. Uh, the, um, the other thing you can do after you take the architecting class is go on to the advanced architecting class and that will come with a certificate, uh, sorry, a voucher for the uh, professional level certification. Okay. Uh, another class that doesn't map to certs but might be of interest to people is this three-day cloud financial management for builders. Uh, there is a prereq that you've taken one of those sort of three day classes, whether it's the dev or the sysops or the arch first, because you need to know AWS pretty well, uh, but it's really all about how to optimize your spend. Um, the developer track, you usually have to have a developer background. We, we suggest you, you better know one of either Python, Java or C Sharp to be able to jump in and be able to do the labs in that class. And there is a follow on class called advanced developing, uh, but that that doesn't map to any specific certification, but it is part of the program. Okay. Um, if you're looking to get a professional certification, there's the, uh, uh, the architect professional and also the other one is the DevOps engineering professional. And uh, we have a three day DevOps engineering class that'll help you prep for that. Um, Typically, people will have taken either the developing or the sysops before that. That's a good prereq. Uh, after the DevOps engineering, or maybe even, you know, if, you, if you're used to Kubernetes and you've got those concepts already, then uh, you can jump into this three-day class called Running Containers on EKS. Uh, this is sort of a newer class that's become very popular very quickly because a lot of people are running workloads, uh, running Kubernetes in AWS. Uh, the second page goes a little bit further into some of the more specialty certifications like the data analytics 
or the, uh, the database specialty. And so we have three-day classes like the big data on AWS class and the planning and designing databases. Those you typically take the architect or the sysops first. Right? We also have this three-day class. It's a deep dive on Redshift. Um, it comes with a uh, professional or specialty voucher, although that class alone won't get you ready for any of the certs. It's really just a deep dive on that one main service. Um, becoming very popular these days is the machine learning specialty. Uh, and so for that, we have a four day class called the machine learning pipeline. Um, we also have a one day class just on SageMaker. Uh, you don't necessarily have to take that before the machine learning class. Uh, but like all these other classes, there is this idea that you better have some AWS familiarity. You know, if you just walk in off the street and take the developing on AWS class, you know, um, you're probably going to be missing some of the basics of AWS. So we do have a one day technical essentials class that teaches you the basics of AWS, but you can skip that if you've been using AWS for a while. Right? Um, we have a nice security uh, class. It's the three-day security engineering. That'll really get you, you know, most of the way prepped for that specialty cert. And then the last uh, sort of class we have here is the five-day architecting on AWS accelerator. So I talked earlier about the fact that there's a three-day architecting class and a three-day advanced architecting. We get a lot of pressure to say, hey, can we jam those together in one week? It used to be very difficult, but eventually AWS built this five-day class uh, that, that should do that. Now, I think if you are brand new to AWS and you think you're going to take a five-day class and get ready for the professional cert, you know, you're dreaming. Those professional certifications are pretty difficult. You know, they usually suggest that you've been working with AWS for, you know, upwards of two years before you tackle a professional certification, just because you need such a breadth of knowledge. Um, but the, the architecting accelerator, like maybe you've already got um, uh, some AWS experience and you're going to skip the associate and go right to the professional because you think you're there, but you better get some formal training, you know, then that might be uh, appropriate. Uh, on this, uh, on this document that you can download, you know, all of these are hyperlinks that will take you to the individual classes, uh, on exitcertified.com and you will see the partner pricing. Uh, you'll also see all our public dates. So you can choose one of those public dates or you can, you know, click and say, hey, no, I want group training. I need, I have, I've got, you know, eight or 10 people and I want to get uh, a special class just for us. Uh, we can deal with that too. Right. So um, good luck in your journey to getting AWS certifications and moving up the ladder in APN program. And we hope to see you in class soon.